hey guys it is Chrissy K and I am back with another video um I straighten my hair like twice a year I recently just straightened my hair and so because I did straighten my hair I just want to make sure there is no heat damage so I'm using the Curl Smith Bond Rehab Salve this right here is a bomb I love it I love it love it love it so I'm gonna put that in my hair and then because I want to make sure that I'm still keeping the curls together Diva Curl I know, I know, I know. We're not supposed to use Diva Curl, but their products never did anything to me. I feel like it was just something that happened in the lab. It was a bad batch. Like, I'm not going to hold it against them forever. They have a Curl Bond collection, and they have a recoiling mid lather cleanser, and they have a recoiling conditioner. I use both of these when I dyed my hair, all three of these actually, and I love the way that it felt. Like, before, I felt like some of the Diva Curl products kind of left my hair feeling a little dry. I didn't like how my hair felt when I rinsed it out. My hair felt amazing um, when I went and got my hair done. My hair was still wet because I had a hair mask in it. And the stylist was like, your hair feels amazing. So I'm going to start with these. As always, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys want to see how I convert from this to a wash and go, using these products to make sure I keep my hair protected, keep watching. All right, so this has to be done on damp hair, so I'm gonna kind of spray it a little bit. It was fun. My hair held much better this time than it did last time. She pressed it a little harder, so that's kind of my reason for wanting to do this treatment before. You can leave it in for like 15 minutes up to an hour because I used this treatment a week ago and because I'm using other curl bonding products it's only going to get 15 minutes out of me and also I was supposed to do this way earlier but I refused to get out of bed so all it's going to get is this 15 minutes but add some more water. starting to come on back I will be back before I rinse this out to let you guys know if the curls came back after this okay so I'm back a lot of definition came back I feel like my hair wasn't wet enough like I had found a spot in the back that was just straight but I realized there was nothing on there so I'm going to go rinse this out I'm gonna go wash my hair with the Diva curl curl bond collection and then I will be back to style this washing. So right now, the Pattern Intensive Conditioner is what's sitting on my hair right now. It's my deep conditioner. I am going to wash this out and officially get this wash and go started. So I am back. Fun fact, I need to do laundry. So I don't have any more microfiber towels. So this is really just like dripping wet hair. I don't like to use these kind of towels for my hair. So this is just really here to collect water. I'm going to try a new routine today. I have never used all these products together. So I'm going to have to hope that they work because I have no clue. I almost thought about doing a twist out because it's been so long and it's way less shrinkage. But your girl got to go to work soon. So I'm going to get this wash and go. Next time, I guess we'll get around to the twist out. Yo, I hate that these fucking clips be breaking. Ugh. Products I'm be using is this is a Curl Smith multitasking conditioner. It's the three in one. You can leave in or rinse out, and it's for damaged hair or for deep condition. Um, I'm just gonna use this as my leave-in. Then I'm gonna put in the Curl conditioning oil and cream. This is for moisture, nourish, and shine. And then after that, I'm going to do the curl defining souffle. It's gonna be my first wash and go without a, a what is that stuff called? My wet line extreme, which I'm actually running low on. Actually, I need another clip, I'll be back. All right, let's get to it. Again, starting with the multitasking conditioner. Okay, I like the consistency of it. 
definitely gives me some slip. Then I'm adding this curl conditioning oil cream. I'm top it with this souffle. I used to be like really big on like wanting to shingle my whole head, but that takes forever. And I don't have time like that today. So we just gonna see what this dimmer brush do. back pieces are not curling. What is that about? Okay, that popped back. Okay, it's just slow to pop. All right. Slow to pop. We are okay. I was about to be a little nervous. Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this combination. Like, as I get all the way up here, I don't know if I'm feeling it. I feel like something about when I add the curl defining souffle feels a little weird, but we're here now. And you know, worst case scenario, if I don't love it, it's gonna be a puff coming real soon. Or I might just wet my hair and do a twist out over it. I don't know yet. But, Let's hope for the best and I am going to shingle a little bit just because I don't know how this is going to come out and I would like as much definition as possible. Okay, this is giving me straight right now and I'm not feeling it but maybe I don't know I did have some pieces in the front that were already kind of questionable so maybe that's just them like doing their thing because everything else seems to be like okay I know I've used the curl defining souffle with my pattern leave-in and curl cream, but I know y'all tired of seeing that in me not using other products. And I bought a lot of new products recently to play. But I think it just might be those little pieces in the front because I feel like everything else is popping back and coming back. I don't do something. Give y'all a little 360. That's what it's looking like so far. This is day one. I am gonna go to work with wet hair. I'm gonna let it air dry. I'm gonna come back with like day two or three here. Um, what it picked out to let you know what ended up happening with this hair. Okay guys, so this is day two slash three here. I went out this evening and I meant to record this before I went out. I went to the Kanye West concert with Drake, so I've been outside and my hair did get bigger. I like it. I like the stuff, I like the definition that my hair got. I like how big my hair got. What I didn't like was that I didn't use my wet line extreme because it makes a difference. Um, that gel makes a difference in the hardness of my hair. And right now it's a little bit fuzzier than would normally be due to me not having the gel in and me being outside in the air. But I am overall satisfied with what I used. If you're a person who doesn't like a cast on your hair, then those products are perfect for you. If you have used any of those products before, comment down below, let me know what your experience was. And with that said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.